Hey everyone, Shoots in House here and I'm here today with a super simple video on how to set up Lychee for your resin 3D printer. Lychee is a software that both allows you to support your model for the 3D printing process as well as slice it to make it ready for the printer to read and actually print. So there's a couple ways to download Lychee. The first here is on the website, mango3d.io, the link will be in the description. And this version on the website is the most stable. But if you wanted access to some of the latest features uh, involved with betas, what I would recommend is checking out their Discord. Under Announcements, you will be able to see the latest beta version with the latest features to play around with. Once you have downloaded and installed Lychee, we need to set up your printer. So we're going to do that by going over to the top left and hitting the 3D printer icon. And as you can see, I already have mine set up but I'll set up another one just to show you what that looks like. By hitting add, you can see all the hardware that is currently supported. And I'm just gonna go with the basic Elegoo Mars 2, just for an example for this. And voila, we're, we're, we're done with that already. And all that's left to do is create some resin. So what we can do is you can just edit the basic profile here. However, what I like to do is I like to hit add and add a new custom resin mainly just to be able to have something to start with. We'll go with a, a very simple Soraya Tech Fast Gray because that tends to be moderately around the average. Now, from here, I would not recommend just loading up one of these profiles and just rolling with it. There are some basic modifications required that are a decent starting point. Depending on your resin, printer, and even your printing environment, such as temperature, some of these settings are going to be different than the ideal. What we recommend is the Amerilabs Towns test, and we're going to have a video on that as well. But as just a basic starting point, what we're going to do is we're going to start in with 10 number of layers for burden layers. Exposure time, I like to start at 25. Depending on your build plate, you can go lower. But again, just starting foundations. Transition layer count, we're going to go with 10. We're going to keep the light off delay at zero, lift after print at five, and for lifting speed, we're going to bring it down to 40. Now, this is where things are going to probably change the most depending on your configuration. We'll keep the layer thickness at five for now. Light off delay, I personally like 6.5. That gives me a, a couple seconds with uh, the lifting speeds we're going to be going with for uh, in a little bit. Exposure time, we're going to start at three. Uh, this is higher than what a lot of resin manufacturers recommend. However, they don't print the kind of supports that we create, which are lots of very fine ones. We found that around this range allows us to have the highest amount of quality of supporting that leaves minimal damage on the model without having to sac sacrifice the quality of the model itself by overexposing. So this is pretty good. And once again, we're going to have a video on the Amerilabs town to be able to configure that and figure out what's best for you. You can also go to the Discord, and we're more than happy to help from there. Lift speed, we're going to leave at 5. Now for the lifting speeds, we're going to put these at baseline vroom levels at 180. I run mine at 240, but that's printer dependent. Once again, we're just going at a basic startup here, and this is what we recommend for baseline vroom. We'll leave the rest of this out. You can edit the price of the bottled resin, and it has a variety of denominations, which is super helpful. Otherwise, yeah. We're pretty much done. You can hit OK and we're ready to rock and roll. If you wanted to add different thicknesses, one of the benefits of Lychee is it it's super quick to do so. So what we're going to do to add different layer heights and make it very easy to switch between the two is you're going to hit the gear icon. You're going to hit this uh, create a copy on the upper left. You're going to make sure it goes to the correct printer, hit copy. And then now from here, you'd edit the layer thickness down to whichever one you want and uh, adjust the exposure time accordingly. Once again, uh, this is gonna be printer dependent. You're gonna have to run some calibrations other than this test. Hit okay, and now you can just switch between the two super quickly and easily. One last thing that's worth mentioning is that different printers will allow for different kinds of settings. So for example, with the Mars 2 here, the settings available will look completely different than, let's say, my IB. This has nothing to do with Lychee, but more what the printer itself will allow for the slicing software to edit. So if your printer looks a little different than what you see in this video, don't worry about it. 
And again, if you have any questions, you can either ask in the Lightsheet Discord or in ours. Well, that, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful and you want to support us like we support models, please consider subscribing and liking the video. It definitely helps a ton. If you have any other ideas you'd like to see us cover, leave a comment down below and we'll catch you next time.